Oh, can you believe it? Fifty years together. Of all the twists and turns our lives could have taken, it's a miracle we found each other back in the chaos in the day. Just think. If I hadn't found your missing earbud on the train that rainy November day... I <laughs> don't things are so dumb. ...and followed you 30 blocks back into your apartment, dressed up as a pizza delivery guy to gain entrance into the building, picked your lock while you slept, slipped the earbud back into your satchel next to the wallet, found out your name, snuck out quietly, ran it back on check on you, and then the next day, um, uh... <gasps> On my commute. <laughs> Which, of all things, was the same as mine. Oakley Plan bumped into you and casually mentioned how, you know, odd as it may be, my missing earbud mysteriously appeared back into my possession last night. Just like mine. What were the odds? We were destined to be to Oh, God. I, I mean, yeah, but I could have stalked some random other person instead. Dating, but creepy. Because exposing your most vulnerable guts to an almost complete stranger and hoping they don't kidnap you and take your liver isn't creepy enough. It's, uh, terrifying out there. Like, how soon is too soon to message back? At what point in the timeline is umbrella sharing acceptable? What? That's a thing, I'm pretty sure. Umbrella sharing? What? What are you talking about? But, like, do you make the first move? Why don't they look like... Their photo. Oh, so many things to go awry and even more ways to go missing. There's the obvious one like the stalker, but just what is a stalker in today's age of social media? There is a line. Respect the line and we'll get along just fine. <laughs> and of course, there is a non-creepy way to sweep someone off their feet and we could talk about that, but really, why the heck is dating so creepy? The feed researcher. That line that was just mentioned, this is where we cross it. Already. I know, I know. This studious camp knows more about you than you do. They memorize and analyze your feed like everything. Placed an unasked for emotional burden on you, their targets. Oh yes, there's more than one interest. When they inevitably slide into your DMs with anyone or all of their 50 accounts. You've learned never to ever tweet where you'll be, when you'll be, because you just know... They'll... Oh, hey! Didn't expect to see you here at this niche event that I don't belong at, too? Wanna go out? Oh, come on! I just spent 13 hours to get here! You owe me! <laughs> the one who orders for you. Ah, yes, the chicken nuggets for me. And the lady will have... I can order for myself, dang it! Whatever she wants. And I'll suffer checks, please. The one who orders... you. So, um, like I said, I just want chicken nuggets. And for you, I'll be having... his liver. Oh, oh god, please help. Right then, one check it is. Come with me, sir. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the angler. We've met them before. They're the snap grammar at the gym, which is the only other place they're at when they're not on picturesque quasi-dates with anyone who can hold a camera just so. You find it odd that their motions are as jerky as a cursed stop-motion puppets as they contort their body to best angle. They have these memorized, never fear. It looks grotesque, as there are no in-between poses. This is an awkwardly silent date, as they don't ask or answer any of your questions. Because, heaven forbid, they get their picture taken mid-sentence. So unattractive! And stare lovingly into the eye of your camera phone. Oh, it would not be lost if you could actually eat the elegantly arranged food. But right before you go to dig in, they need just one more picture for their feed. Feed me, you fool. I'm out. The innuend don't. This would-be swab suitor's mind is mostly in the gutter. And oh boy, do they want you to know that. Their, um, lines could use uh, a demo crew. Hey, sweetness, you want to go pour concrete, if you know what I mean? <sighs> hey, babe, you want to go bird watching? <laughs> If you get my drift. <laughs> Yo, babe, I got a new pair of running shoes and I'm meant to run miles of smiles on them. Hey. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Please just nix the Lions Casanova. The Craigslist Creeper, or the Missed Connection. 
And then there are those people who are so starved for human acknowledgement and contact and who have not had any prospects on the horizon for eons and who are willing to entertain desperate and life-threatening avenues to find the one. Any one. Really? Oh, hey, no. Oh, come on. It's not like you've never been lonely. Craigslist. Full of the creepiest of creeps and mostly really thirsty old guys. And how would you know that, Frank? <laughs> Do not click on any ads with pictures unless you want to lose your appetite for a few months. Okay, okay. But what about misconnections? Isn't that like the better side of the site? Well, uh, someone used to think just like that. Oh golly, there must be someone who noticed my new haircut on the bus today and they were just so stunned that they ran home right away and typed up a quirky winning misconnection ad so that we could find each other and fall in love and ride the bus off into the sunset. It was love at first sight and of course they're the most gorgeous human being ever and I noticed them too but was too coy to say anything in person. So I also ran home to scour the misconnections ads because kids forbid I write one to find them and fall in love and ride the bus off into the sunset. Everyone deserves a creepy stalker fairy tale romance after all. You know what, that's a, that's a, that's a yikes out of 10 for me. Didn't you ever watch a Disney Disney movie? Yeah, I don't. That's a big yikes. Ooh, yeah, you are on point. Run, do not walk, do not stop, do not reply, and do not click any ads with pictures. So like, has Craigslist ever actually worked for anyone? <laughs> Beats me, I've only ever found my stolen bike listed for sale there, but that's a story for another time. The Egregious Gifter really creepy, unwanted, and inappropriate gifts. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want the societal pressure and expectations that come with this gift. <laughs> you just met them yesterday. What are they hiding, I wonder? The Space Invader. You have a space bubble? They have a space bubble. They don't care. <laughs> the Serial Killer. You've known them a short while only, but they seem to know a lifetime about you, and they definitely have a type. You feel very connected, and it has nothing to do with the duct tape. So, dating. Creepy, awkward, uncomfortable in the best of situations. Throw in a dash of real danger, a sprinkle of psychopath, and oh my gosh, cat lady is looking real good right about now. And we didn't even discuss online dating. Okay, okay, there are some gems out there. Probably. Anyway, what are some of your dating horror stories? Or has it just been roses and fairy tales? Share your wisdom! Alright, catch you in the comments below. Woohoo! We made it to the end of the video! Maz, thank you so much for putting up with these cheesy, awkward, corny lines and helping me out with this video. No, thank you! Thank you, Frank, for having me on your beautiful video. I love your stuff, and you know I do. You know that I'm a crazy boy. Uh, if you didn't know it before, you'll probably know it now after this 15-minute recording. <laughs> Thank you for all your help and for voicing those. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Creepy lines. Click his channel here. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Can you help me find my missing dentures, sweetie? Okay, darling. <laughs>